This is the Motorhead HD head. Today we're going to talk about how to balance this on your jib. And we're going to do th three types of balance. And I'll first I'll mount it to the jib. Um, and you always want to mount it with the orientation of the uh, of the pan motor to the front like this. But I'm not going to tighten it all the way because I want to check my first point of balance. I'm going to start screwing it in, get you know several threads in so that it's not going to come loose before you're ready for it. I'm just going to pan the head here and you can see how it's slightly off balance here because we don't have a camera mounted to it yet. So our first goal is to get the head mounted here uh, underneath the camera platform. So I'm just going to set the camera on here that we're going to be using today. I'm not going to screw it down, but I'm just going to let it balance here. And now I've got too much camera weight on the outside of the head, so I'm going to move this camera in slightly. Where you mount it on here, it's got several slots, so you can use those to screw it in. We're still slightly off here. We want this plate from the motor head to be perfectly parallel with the uh, plate on the jib. So I'm going to slide it over a little bit more. Again, do this carefully with your camera because I don't have it screwed in. And I just want to get it to, to the point of where, and we're just about parallel now. This is probably good. I could stand to move it out slightly. And, or actually I need to come in just a little bit more. close um, and that should suffice so I'm just going to tip the camera up and see where I am and I am closer to this slot than I am the outer slot so I think I'm going to pick uh, slot number three I, I, I could also go to slot number four here so I'll take my hold down screw or actually before I do that I'm going to go ahead and just tighten it all the way. And we can always recheck this after we get the camera mounted and everything with the cables. Because the camera cables are going to affect this a little bit. So now I'll go back here to slot number three. I'm just going to tip the camera up. Get my screw going. With these hold down screws, you want to screw the screw all the way in until it stops. And then you want to balance the camera on the tilt axis until it sits upright and then just tighten the collar underneath. Okay. So at this point, a lot of guys would say, okay, the camera is balanced, but it's still not. And the way we know that is if we tip the camera up, it just flops back. If we tip the camera back, it just flops back. So we know that the camera is not in the complete center of gravity on this yet. So the first thing we're going to do is raise the tilt platform, which has the camera sitting on it. And so what we want to do is move the tilt axis here closer to the center of the camera and you can do this if you want before you mount the camera if you have a general idea of uh, where you think the position should be. We also have a nifty scale on here so once you find that sweet spot you can note the number, make a note of it and then the next time you use this same camera setup you can go back to that number. And now you can see that we're getting closer to the center of gravity. I'm going to go a little bit more. I want to get it to the point of where I can point the camera in any attitude and the camera will stay. I can go backwards 
I can go straight up and down, it stays. I can point it forward, it stays. And I can point it straight down and it stays. It doesn't flop back. Now, in, a, in an actual setup, I would already have all the cables attached to it and you need to do that when you're doing your actual leveling. But for the purposes of this demonstration, I just wanna show you that the, uh, the camera is perfectly balanced. Now, if we change anything, like if I move the viewfinder, now it's gonna be off balance again. So you always wanna make sure that your camera is equipped and in the attitude that you want it to be balanced. If I wanna leave this viewfinder on, uh, I think it was about there when we balanced it, so it's still gonna be in balance. And you notice I've got the uh, motors away from the main drive gear in order to do this, so you get full free movement of the camera here. But now, with it completely balanced, no matter what attitude the camera is in, if you're trying to tilt the camera, the motor doesn't even really know that the weight is there because with the camera in perfect balance, uh, the motor doesn't struggle on any position of the 360 degree arc that it does to turn the camera on either axis. So now that we have it balanced here, it's really not gonna change our balance here, but we're, we're pretty good balanced here. It could stand to have the camera come out a little bit. And so instead of adjusting the camera where we have the permanent slots on the camera platform, we could actually loosen these screws and adjust the whole arm over slightly and that would balance uh, that would balance the, it the rest of the way because we need this side to be a little heavier. The reason for that is because of the weight of the tilt motor, the weight of the arm and all the mechanism on this side, you're having to offset the weight of that with the weight of the camera. And the symptom, if you don't have it balanced on that axis, the symptom is going to be that you would uh, spin the camera around 180 degrees, you'd have a level horizon pointed to the front. Maybe when you go to the side, the horizon drops off some, or if you go to the back or to the other side, the horizon is, is off the other direction. That's from this not, be, not being balanced here. So this is your one balance point. The other balance point is on your tilt, both the elevation and the fore and aft sliding of the camera go into account to, to attain your balance here on this axis. So now that we have this balance, I'll take a look at the number, and we're on 58. So I could make a note of this and come back to this level position, uh, and it would work for this camera every time. Again, if you change anything on the camera, add cables, if you put a battery on the camera, anything that changes the weight load on the camera is also going to change the balance. Uh, that you've got going on the camera. So make sure that you balance it after any kind of camera change. Even a tape in the camera can, uh, can affect that. So that's it, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.